Hello, this is Mocha Product Manager Martin Brennan giving you a quick overview of the new features inside Mocha Pro 2019.5. Along with big boosts to performance in large roto projects and a lot of under the hood tweaks and fixes, we've added a bunch of great new features to improve on Mocha workflow and flexibility. So first up is Flame Support. You can now use Mocha Pro in Flame 2020 as an OFX plugin. To use Mocha in a batch FX, simply create a new OFX node, load Mocha Pro from the Boris FX Mocha folder, feed in your source footage to the source input, and open Mocha from the Launch Mocha button in the node parameters. You can create new or import previous projects like any other Mocha effect. For example, here we're loading a roto file to help punch out the soccer player in the foreground. We can then close and view or apply the mat in Flame to isolate the player. All other render modules such as Remove, Insert and Stabilize work in the same way, outputting the result in the batch for further work. We also support the Flame exports such as Stabilizer, Tracker, ASCII files and Gmask. For example, here we are exporting the same roto shot to Gmask on disk, loading a Gmask node, and importing the file directly into Flame. Building on the magnetic tool workflow we introduced in Mocha Pro 2019, we have the new Edge Snap tool, which can speed up the process of moving your control points to the nearest edge. To use the Snap tool, select the points you want to move, and press the default Alt-S shortcut, which will then snap the selection to the closest edge you can find. You can also press and hold down the S shortcut key and then drag points to an edge for the same effect. The edge you drag your points to will then snap, just like the single key press does. For After Effects users, Mocha Pro 2019.5 also adds the power pin corner effect, which provides some more flexibility over the standard corner pin effect. You can access power pin like any other export, either saving to disk or copying to the clipboard for pasting onto an existing layer in After Effects. Alternatively, for Mocha Pro Adobe plugin users, you can go back to the After Effects timeline, select your tracking data layer from the Mocha Pro plugin interface, choose power pin from the export options, and apply it to your chosen layer. Either approach creates the power pin effect on the target layer ready to be adjusted as needed. For those that don't like to be constrained to defaults, we also now have the ability to create custom layouts. For example, if you like using the Essentials layout but wanted to access more tools, you could right-click the toolbar and add Advanced Tools, which will replace the basic toolset. Additionally, you could right-click the Timeline control bar and show all timeline buttons to add them to the layout. Once you have a layout you prefer, you can then go to the Layout drop-down and select Save Current As to open the Layout Manager. Then you just need to give your layout a new name, ready for use in any project. If you make a mistake or no longer need a layout, you can just choose any title in the list and press the delete button to remove it. Once created, your new layout can be switched to at any time, either via selecting it from the layout dropdown, or via the view menu under the layout submenu. Each new layout automatically creates its own shortcut based on command or control and a number on the keyboard. The first four numbers are always the default layouts, and any new layouts are numbered from 5 onwards. Finally, we've overhauled the autosave system to give users a bit more peace of mind. Now, when you enter the output settings in Preferences, we have a number of backups option which will add a series of iterated autosave files along with your standard autosave. This means if you lose unsaved work, or even just want to go back to a previous state, your autosave will not only exist, but additional stages back in history will also be saved to disk. You can find the autosave history folder in the autosave directory listed below. Plugin autosaves are stored by time and date, but also by the host application they were created in, so data will not conflict. You can merge or open these autosave files just like any other Mocha project. So that wraps up this quick overview of the new features inside Mocha Pro 2019.5. We've also fixed a number of important defects under the hood, so your Mocha experience should be all the better. We hope you enjoyed the new update, and as always, if you have any questions, pop us a message or forum post over at borisfx.com.